Good morning, YouTube. Morning, morning, morning. It is class time. Is everybody on? Y'all cross over, cross over. Good morning. When y'all get on live, y'all make sure y'all drop y'all cities and states, please. Drop your cities and states on YouTube. Good morning, Fatina. Okay, good, good, good. I see y'all. Who else on here? Who else is in the building? Hey, Tajane, Queen of Blanks, Felicia. Hey, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we're going live on YouTube. I'm about to cut off Facebook. And then I'm going to come back over here and talk to y'all. What's up, Danette? What's the, um, okay, let me make sure I'm just, hold on, y'all, get myself together over here, okay, good morning, good morning, Tiffany, Siobhan, good morning, Trix, hey, Sensational, hey, guys, y'all, come on in, it is early, I love when y'all on time, what time is it, we won't even supposed to start right now, but we're going to start, Oh, we got seven minutes. We got seven minutes. Hey, Miss Falls. Let me see my fat butt down. Hey, y'all. When y'all come in, can y'all drop y'all cities and states? Let me see where y'all from. Do we have any people from Georgia in the house? Texas? Like, where everybody from? Florida? Okay, Virginia? Georgia, baby? <laughs> Texas, Alabama, Savannah, okay. North Carolina, I see you, Louisiana. Ooh, I like it. Thank you, Danette. <laughs> Philly, okay. Oh, Virginia, y'all deep on here today. Texas is deep, deep. Okay, I like that, I like that. Well, y'all, I wanted to do this live on YouTube so we can get some sublimation training in. Y'all know that we um we have these challenges like every three months where we teach y'all something different. But even after the challenges, people are still like, well, I'm new to sublimation. What about sublimation, sublimation? So if you are new to sublimation, if that's you, put it in the comments because y'all been beating down my dough. You've been beating down your girl dough. If you're not new to sublimation... Put old head in the comments. That means you know what you're doing. You've been around for a long time. But if you are new, meaning you you don't know what supplies to get. You don't know the times and temps. You don't know, you know, all of that good stuff. If you new, put it in the comments. She said old head. Okay, I see you old head. Newbie in the comments. Awesome. Where my newbies at? <laughs> she said, I'm a medium head. You in the middle? Okay, I see you. You, you a little bit on both sides. Okay, I see you. Newbie, she said, I'm a new new with some mouths on me, not the mouths. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so this is why I'm doing this submission training is for the newbies. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it every Friday uh, until I just get to the point where I can't even get out the bed because I'm so big. So uh, we will be trying to do this submission training every Friday, but I need every last one of y'all to follow me on YouTube, like literally subscribe. If you don't subscribe, it's not going to tell you when I'm going live. So, you're just going to have to watch the replay. So, if you subscribed already, put subscribe in the comments. We're going to go ahead and get into today's lesson. And, y'all, stay on the live the entire time, okay? Literally stay on the live. Like, if you stay on the live, my people already know what goes on at the end of my live. So, just stay on the live. But if y'all have already subscribed to my YouTube, Crafting with Cassandra, put it in the comments. Let me know you have subscribed, you good to go, you not going to miss the class, all of that good stuff. Let your girl know. Where my comments go? Y'all, hold on. Let me see what my comments is. Okay. I need to see all my comments. There we go. There we go. So, is everybody subscribed? Y'all put something in the comments. I want to make sure I can see y'all comments because it's not coming through. Hold on. All messages. Okay, I don't see any comments. What happened to my comments? Mm, let me see something. Because if I can't see y'all comments, how am I going to answer y'all questions? Let me see something. Can y'all see me? Can everybody see me? 
gonna have to go live on StreamYard because I can't see y'all comments and that's gonna irk me. Is it letting y'all comment? Okay, there they go. What happened? Oh, YouTube, don't do me. Don't do your girl. Okay, I can see y'all now, but hopefully at the end it don't do this. Okay, so go, 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 go. Okay, so y'all get y'all notepads and pens out when y'all got them. Say I'm ready. Get your notepads and pens out. We're going to take some notes first, and then we're going to get into today's lesson. I should be about a hot 30 minutes, literally 30 minutes, okay? She said, I'm ready. I see you. I see you too, girl. All right. So first thing first, let me introduce myself. Y'all, my name is Cassandra Smith. I go by Coach Cassandra. Um, I am the owner of Blank Glory, where we show you guys how to master crafts, um, you know, turn them into profits, all that good stuff. Basically, how to turn your hobby into a profit, okay? Um, we also sell, and we're going to get into that later, sublimation products. We host sublimation online classes and sublimation hands-on classes, okay? So, the first thing I want to talk to y'all about today is what is sublimation. Now, I'm not going to get into all this technical stuff about the air and the heat and the gas. We're not going to do all that. I'm going to break it down real kindergarten-ish, okay? Sublimation is where you take special paper. It can't be copy paper. You use special ink, and you are going to run it through a special printer that you're going to convert, okay? We're going to talk about that later. When it comes out, you're going to press that image onto a polyester substrate, and the ink is going to go all the way in the shirt, and then voila, that's what sublimation is. So we're not going to get all technical. It's very, um, you know, very self-explanatory. Special paper, special ink, um, using a special printer with a special shirt, substrate, blank, whatever you want to call it, okay? So that's what sublimation is. Now let's talk about why should we be sublimating? This is very important. Why should we sublimate? Number one, because it's very versatile, okay? When it comes to your customers, customers are going to want you to give a shirt with a tumbler or maybe a pair of socks with a coffee mug or maybe a coaster with a book bag. I don't know, but it's very, very versatile. So y'all put that in the comments so I know y'all can see my, I can see y'all comments. So when I say something, that way I know either you, you two tripping or I'm tripping, okay? So number one, it is very, very, very versatile, okay? Number two, you can offer variety in bundles. Um, say, for instance, if you're doing vinyl, this is vinyl right here. I can't put this vinyl on, you know, other things. We ain't going to get too technical. But vinyl is like, to me, limited. But with sublimation, you can put it on the shirts, tumbler. Let me just show y'all some things. Before we get into this lesson, because I, I can show, I can tell y'all a lot day, but I really want to show y'all what I'm talking about. But you can put, you can do sublimation on dresses, um, lunch totes. Book bags, like you can offer your customer variety, okay? Uh, cross bags. What else? Notebooks. It's the variety for me. It's the variety for me, okay? So that's why you should be doing it. And then, okay, so we said versatile variety and bonus. All right. Now let's, let's get into the supply list because this is major. I was talking about this earlier. If y'all follow me on my other pages, we were talking about supplies earlier. But this is very important. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Starting sublimation, you're going to need a minimum of about a good $800. $800 period. Like, I, I did my math. You can't really sublimate for anything cheaper unless you probably already got some of this stuff. So let's break this down. The first supply that you are going to need, y'all make sure y'all get this. You are going to need a printer, okay? Now, the printers that we recommend is Epson. Um, Sawgrass already have printers that's already converted, but I've been using Workforce printers, Epson printers since 2019. So I'm going to say an Epson printer. Now, my two types of Epson printers that I love, let me turn y'all around. It is the Epson ET15000. Okay. Now, this printer actually prints. Um, up to 13 by 19. So this is considered the big boy printer. 
But if you are new and you are just starting out, y'all, get into it. I'm going to say the Epson 2800. I ain't even took it out of the box yet because I want to play with it. But the Epson 2800 is a great starter printer. And that's going to cost you about $199 plus tax. You're looking at about two something, okay? This one over here is going to run you about $700, okay? So it just really depends on if you want to start out with the big boy, go straight into the big lead, or you want to start with the little lead. Where my little lead people at? <laughs> I like my little little people because y'all don't try to pull the heart, the horse before the cart or the cart before the horse. If you just looking to start, like, look, I don't care about if it prints 13 by 19. That's going to my little lead. All right, Monica. If you just looking to start sublimation, the 2800 is a great printer. 2803. Um, it's a lot of them out there. I can give y'all a full list. But if you just want to start, I say start small and work your way up. But if you want to be fast, these are my fast tail people, okay? But I, I'm going to start small. That's what I'm going to do, okay? So we got the printer for number one. Number two, you are going to need a heat press. Now, today, we're not using a heat press because we are doing coffee mugs. But if you was to get a heat press, I would definitely say start out with a 15 by 15. Um, You can use a Cricut hand press, a 9 by 12 heat press. But I would say so you can do more items if you can get the 15 by 15. But see, we're not working with that today. We're not going to heat press anything. We are working with the coffee mug presses. Now, let's talk about the coffee mug. When you are uh, pressing coffee mugs, you can use the convection oven. So, y'all make sure y'all write this down. I love the... Oyster um, virgins. This is a bigger oyster virgin, okay? So, oyster. You can use the tumbler press, okay? You can use the tumbler press. You can use the Cricut mug press. I really like this one because this is very affordable. It's like $99 on Amazon. Or you can use the... Cricut mug press. So this is the coffee mug press, Cricut mug press, tumbler press, or you can use a convection oven. Uh, I'm going to use what's easy for me, which is the Cricut mug press. I really love this. It, it, it literally does its own thing. But if you're looking to do like more mugs, I would highly suggest getting a um, convection oven. Okay. All right. The next thing, what number we on, you guys? So we said you need a printer, you need a heat press, but we're not using a heat press today, so you're going to need some type of either a convection oven, Cricut mug press, coffee mug press, or a tumbler press. Either one to do. Number three, you're going to need a laptop. This is very important. We on number four. We on number three. Number three. Good job. So number three, you are going to need a laptop. Now, my students say they use the HP Envy. Um, they like to use Lenovo. All of those different things. Let me tell y'all what my favorite laptop is. I love Surface Pros. Like, I have about three of them around here. Because I can, what I love about Surface Pro is I can put every software on here and it don't run slow. So, I have Affinity on here. I have Photoshop on here. I run Silhouette on here. And I've been using Surface Pro for about the last three years. And I haven't had to, uh, you know, switch out my printers. But everybody should already know that if you are using AM printer, I mean AM laptop, what are you supposed to have? No matter what laptop you use, what are you supposed to have? What is this, y'all? Somebody tell me. So if you are saving designs, if you are designing, you always supposed to have a hard drive. I don't care what laptop you get. This is going to make or break it, okay? So if you are saving designs, buying designs, always save them to your hard drive, okay? Don't save them to your computer. That's what's going to make it go slow. All right, so that is number three. So we said printer, mug press, laptop. Now let's go on to the other supplies. 
Number four, you are going to need sublimation paper. Ooh, what y'all see? Tell me what y'all see that's different. <laughs> Let me pop my ish right quick. This is the Blank Galore Sublimation Paper recommended. I mean, you can use any sub paper. I don't want y'all to think you got to get Blank Galore because we run out real fast. Um, I absolutely love, if I had to choose, I love a sub paper. So if you are new, this is what I started out with before I started my own. But now we have our own sublimation paper, y'all. And when it first came out, it used to come in a bag. <laughs> You got to start somewhere. You feel me? This is what it came with, okay? Um, it had plastic on it. Of course, it's still good paper. But um, people was complaining about they needed to store the paper once they use it. So now our 8x11 paper comes in a box or as many as you need. Um, so if you're going to get some mission paper, I highly recommend Blanks Galore paper. And you can get that at BlanksGalore.com, okay? So number four... You gotta have sublimation paper. You cannot use copy paper. Number five, you're gonna need sublimation ink. We also at Blanks Galore sell the sublimation ink. It's gonna come in yellow, cyan, magenta, and then the black ink, okay? So we're really that one-stop shop. When you say you can't start, how? When it's a blank floor around, you can't start, okay? So, we do carry the paper and also the ink that you are going to need. Number six, you are going to need a substrate, which is called a sublimation blank. Um, and it has to be polyester or poly-coated. You cannot sublimate on cotton. If you figure out a way to do it, it's going to wash out anyway. So, if you want to have quality work going out the door... You got to make sure your substrate is polyester, okay? Now, a lot of y'all might say, well, can I use 50% polyester? You can, but to get the best bang for your buck, make sure it's 100% polyester. Like, just go ahead and get the 100%, okay? That way, you know it's going to come out right. So, polyester substrates is number six. Now, what are we going to be using today? What are we going to be subbing with today? Are we subbing a t-shirt? Are we sublimating a tumbler? What are we sublimating today? Good job. So, we're going to be sublimating coffee mugs. So, that's what we are going to be using as well. And where can y'all get this from? Blanks Galore. <laughs> we got everything. If you don't go to Blanks Galore, go to my Amazon storefront. I'm going to put all the links down below. Um, they also have good mugs as well. All right. Number seven, you are going to need butcher paper. Um, I got this from Amazon, but the rolls at my warehouse, I got them from Sam's. Sam's, you get more bang for your buck. But when I'm home, I have the Amazon roll. And I'm going to tell you guys why you need butcher paper, okay? So butcher paper. All right, number eight. You are going to need heat tape. This is also from Amazon. I'll put everything on my Amazon storefront. So heat tape. Number nine, you are going to need a ruler or fabric ruler because we got to measure the substrate. I like to use the fabric ruler. You can use the ruler, but whenever you're doing like um, cups or anything, Fabric ruler it is, okay? Number 10, you are going to need gloves. Amazon as well. Got to have your heat gloves, and I'm going to use it today. I normally don't use it, but I'm going to use it today. Safety first, okay? Number 11, this is very important. So we talked about laptops, making sure you got a laptop, but you also want to make sure you are using a great software to print out of. Not necessary to design, but you want a software you can definitely print out your images. So I like to use Silhouette software because it's absolutely free. Um, what software do y'all use? You know, we probably got some Photoshop gurus in here, probably some affinity gurus, but I love to use 
Silhouette software, okay? So y'all make sure y'all put that in the comments. Uh, it's easy to download. It's absolutely free. She said I use Canva. Okay, awesome. Silhouette, I love silhouette. Silhouette, silhouette, silhouette. All right. Number, what number we on? Number 12. The last thing you are going to need is your design. Um, everybody that's on this live right now, you get this design for absolutely free while I'm on live. So you got to go to my website, download this free design. It's going to come as a coffee mug template. It's already sized for you guys. You don't have to worry about trying to size it. It's going to come just like this. So you got to go to my website while I'm on live, blanksgalore.com. I don't know if y'all can type it in there, but if y'all can't, blanks galore is spelled B L. A-N-K-S-G-A-L-O-R-E, blanksgalore.com. Grab your free design while you are on live and make sure um, you are able to make your, your um, coffee mug at the end, all right? All right, so we are done with that. We talked about supplies, what is sublimation, the startup cost. Oh, let me tell y'all about the startup cost. So with the startup cost, when y'all are getting y'all things, you can use buy now, pay later apps, okay? So I don't want y'all to feel like, what if I don't have the money right now? Where I'm going to get all this money from? Buy now, pay later apps is what you can use to get your supplies, your equipment. Here are the buy now, pay later apps. The first one is Klarna, okay? So Klarna is the first buy now, pay later app. The second one is Selzle, S-E-Z-Z-L-E. Selzle is also a buy now, pay later app. The third one is Zip, Z-I-P. Zip is a buy now, pay later app. The fourth one is Afterpay, A-F-T-E-R-P-A-Y. Afterpay is a buy later, buy now, pay pay later out and then the last one is paypal okay paypal is now also doing buy now pay later so don't worry if y'all don't got all the coins to get everything right now try to use as many buy now pay later apps as you can and they let you use all of them at one time so it ain't like you can only use one and not the other ones you can use every buy now pay later app and get everything you need all right so first thing first let's clear this out we are going to be sublimating. Let me turn y'all around. If y'all have any questions, hold them to the end, okay? Hold them to the end. So this is what we're going to be making. As you can see, I had it dressed up really, 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 really nice. I'm going to tell y'all how much I charge for this too, because I don't want y'all underpricing. But this is what we are going to learn how to make by the end of this live. So first thing first, you want to get your substrates. Like I said, we are using, we are um, printing a coffee mug. You are going to get your fabric ruler and you want to do what first? Somebody give me the answer. We got my coffee mug. This is our substrate. We got our fabric ruler. What do we have to do first before we just dive into anything? We have to measure, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is measure this coffee mug. Now, you might not get your dimensions all the way right, but we're going to measure it anyway, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to start from right here and work my way all the way around, okay? So we got... Oh, okay. Hold on. I know it's moving, but I don't stop. Okay. So we at about 9.5. 9.5. That's what I'm going to say. Child, hold on. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to say 9.5 in width, okay? And then in length... Let's do the length. 
the length, we're going to say four inches. We're just going to say four inches. That's going to give us enough room for error. We don't want to get it right on the dot. So we're just going to say it is four inches. So 9.5 in width, four inches in height. Y'all remember that, okay? The next thing. We are going to open up our software that we're going to be using. Okay. If I can just find my laptop. What did I do with it? That's crazy. Okay. So let's go ahead and open this laptop and we're going to pull up the silhouette software. All right. So like I said, I like to use silhouettes. Um... I don't use any other whenever I'm printing. Now, when I'm designing, I use Photoshop, you know, all that other stuff. But for silhouette, if I'm just trying to do something real quick, I like to use silhouette. Now, let's start over on a fresh new page. If y'all are new to silhouette, it's very easy, like literally. I might do some silhouette classes later. Okay, so here are the blank page. Over here, I'm going to make sure that my width and my height is on the type of paper that I'm using, okay? So I am using the size eight by 11. So I wanna make sure the software that I'm using, it also has eight by 11 paper um, that I'm gonna be printing out on. So I got the eight by 11. Right here for my machine, I put none, cut and mat none, cause I'm just using this to print out of, but the media size is letter, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over here to file and we're going to click on open and we're going to bring that image in that everybody gets for free. So everybody get that image for free. Make sure y'all go download it, please, because after this live, it would not be free anymore. OK. All right. So what did I say my dimensions was? What was the width and what was the height for this coffee mug? She said, I just got my design. Awesome. What was the width and what was the height? Good job, Donna. Good job, Lakia. Good job, Danette. Awesome. All right. So for my width, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to change that up there at the top. Okay. So I'm going to back it up. I'm going to put 9.5 enter. You got to make sure you press in the enter, okay? And then for my height, I'm going to put four inches, enter. Wait, what is y'all? Hold on, y'all. Oh, wait. Y'all see what I just did there? Make sure you unlock this. We're not going to play with silhouette. Okay. Make sure you unlock before you put your dimensions in because we just did his own thing. So let's go back. 9.5. And then over here, we have four inches. All right, there we go. Now... As y'all can see, this is the 8 by 11 paper we're going to be printing on, but this is too big, so I'm going to have to turn it sideways, okay? So if you're working in silhouette, do y'all see this green at the top? All you're going to do is left click and grab that green, and then you're going to turn your image around. So I'm still holding it down, and then I'm turning my image around, all right? Do y'all see that? Everybody got that? And since it is a 8 by 11 size sheet, you can really fit two on here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then I'm going to paste. So I can try to fit two. On. I don't, I don't want to waste no paper. Okay, there we go. Boom. Now, the next thing you want to do, you are going to go to File. She said, what says sold out? What say sold out? The, the design? Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. Let me put some more back in there. Give me one second. Y'all getting them designs, huh? Okay. Let me go back to the design. Okay, I see. Oh, Lord. Okay, I had put 300 in there. It ain't even 300 people on the lot. Oh, it's 400 of y'all on here. Okay, well, okay. Let me do, let me put a thousand in there. Everybody should be good. All right. So let me go back. 
So now that we got our design fitted on the 8 by 11 let's go into our printer settings, okay? So we're going to go to File. We are going to click on Print. Okay. She said, hold on. She said her is charging. No, y'all, it shouldn't be charging y'all. Oh, it's trying to charge y'all sales tape. Okay, let me take it off. Okay, there it go, you guys. All right. Now you're going to go to Print. Now we are going to be using the ET15000 series printer. So I'm going to click on print. I mean, I'm going to click on the print I'm using. I'm going to go to preferences. Y'all make sure y'all look at this now. Now when using BG paper, these are the settings that we use. If you use Asa paper or any other brand, I can't tell you what settings to use for that. But I know if you are using blank scalar paper, these are the exact settings I use. I don't do nothing else. Anybody else might, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is click on for paper source, auto select for a document size. It's already on 8 by 11 because that's what I'm using. For the orientation portrait, for the paper type, plain paper, bright white paper. I don't use ultra premium. I don't use presentation matte, none of that. For the paper type, I use plain paper, bright white paper, okay? For the quality, I'm going to put it on high, all right? And then we're going to scroll down here. Let's, well, okay, everything good. Okay, let's go to more options. For more options, I'm going to check mirror image, but I'm going to uncheck bidirectional printing. I don't need that doing no bidirectional, okay? So I'm going to make sure I have the mirror image checked because you have to mirror your images whenever you are submitting, okay? I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to press print. And it's going to do its thing. Now, turn y'all around. So we can save time. I already have my images printed out. So we're not going to wait on it to print. None of that stuff. We are going to go ahead and start sublimating because I already got the design printed. All right. So this design is on um my, my, my website. It's free. While I'm on live, this design is free. You got to go to blankscore.com and get the design. All right. So this is the design we're using. I'm just going to go ahead and trim around it and cut it. And then we're going to go ahead and tape it down. And we're almost done, y'all. Coffee mugs are like the easiest um, substrates to sublimate on. Coffee mugs is very, very, very easy. T-shirts and coffee mugs. All right. So I'm just going to cut it. And if y'all have any questions, y'all can hold them to the end. And I will make sure... I try to um, answer them. All right, so we cut out the image. Now, let's go ahead and tape it up. So we have our coffee mug. We have our image. We are going to need what? What's the next thing that we need in order to finish this job? What do we need in order to finish this job? Good job, Monica. We are going to need heat tape, okay? So let's go ahead and tape this bad baby, and then we're going to be done. So I'm going to put my coffee mug right in the middle. I want to make sure that the letters are on there, and then, so y'all see how everything fits? Because I did bleed it a little bit, so everything is going to fit, okay? So I'm going to put it in the middle. I am going to tape it down. I want to make sure it's even. Ooh, that's a perfect fit too, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, okay. And then I'm going to put some tape right here in the middle. Okay, and make sure it's nice and secure. Awesome. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tape around it. 
So y'all just give me one second. You don't have to do all this. I do. Because I'm so used to doing it with tumblers. But some people don't do all this. They just taper that little one piece and they be done. But I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do it like this. It ain't going to hurt if I do it like this. Now, when y'all are going to get the free design, the design is absolutely free for the coffee mug. But it will try to tell you, hey, why not go ahead and get the whole three-piece set? And I'm going to show y'all what the three-piece set look like. So, if you say, well, I love this design by the time I finish, you might as well go ahead and get it for the tumbler. Get it for the t-shirt because customers like what? What did I just tell y'all customers like? Y'all can listen to me on that one if you want to. But I'm just telling y'all what I know. Customers love what? Variety, good job, and bundles. So I'm giving y'all the coffee mug design for the free ski. But if you already know your customer's going to want a whole t-shirt. Girl, can, I, can you make me a t-shirt? That coffee mug ain't going to fit on the hook. That coffee mug design ain't going to fit for a t-shirt. Or if you know your customer's going to want a tumbler, that coffee mug design ain't going to fit on a tumbler. So you might as well go ahead and grab the whole three-piece, okay? Now, y'all don't got to do all this. I'm just being extra. All right. Here we go. So I got my mug tape down nice and secure. It shouldn't go anywhere. And we are ready to press. Now I'm waiting on my Cricut mug press to warm up. And once this warms up, we ready. Yes, y'all. Bundles are my favorite too. I love me a good old bundle. So after we done with this, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all how much I would charge for this. I'm going to tell y'all how to take a picture, how to bundle it. I mean, not the bundle, but I want to show y'all how to um, dress it up. And then we're going to be done. So I'm waiting on my Cricut mug press to warm up. So all I did was press the power button. When it turns green, it's going to be ready, okay? Now, if y'all are doing this in a convection oven, let me give y'all the time and temps. So the time and temp for this Cricut mug press is going to be six minutes for 392 degrees. Six minutes, 392 degrees. So when I get ready to press this, in this Cricut mug press, six minutes, 392. Y'all got that? Because if I do a trivia, I don't want y'all to be like 400 degrees, 60 seconds. No, 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 no. For the coffee mug, 392 degrees, six minutes. Now, if you are doing it in an oven, so we talked about the oysters ovens um, earlier. If y'all are doing it in the oven, it's going to be 400 degrees for 12 minutes, okay? If you do it in the oven, oh, it's ready. 400 degrees for 12 minutes in the oven. So let me go ahead and add my coffee mug press in here. Okay. I'm going to press this down right here on the end. That's going to close it and let it know it's ready to start cooking. And once it's done, it's going to tell me it's done. So I'm going to just let that thing sit over there. But while we're working on that cooking, let's talk about props. So whenever we are finishing up sublimating... What, what do y'all do first? Do y'all just ship the item? Do y'all just be like, oh, okay, my order done. I'm tired. I'm going to go. What should y'all be doing after y'all finish making the item? Taking pictures. Good job. All right. So let me show y'all my setup. This is my setup. Now, if you are all head... Y'all should know about the white fur rugs, okay? This is the white fur rug. You can get it from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, Amazon, whatever you want to do. Or I like to use this backdrop right here. It's just a whiteboard, and it's a whiteboard going this way. But I still got the rug at the bottom. 
but I bought some supplies from Amazon so it can look Halloweenish. okay? Anytime you are trying to stick within the season and you are making things, you want it to look like what you selling. So we can't have a Halloween coffee mug, but then we got Christmas and Valentine's Day designs, okay? So these are Halloween props to give it just that feel. So they're like, oh my gosh, let me go ahead and grab one, okay? Y'all will be surprised people will buy all because of your setup, all because of your presentation. Put that in the comments. Presentation matters. If you got a nice presentation, I'm sold. Give me the whole bundle, okay? So I got some um some little cotton, you know, so it can look like a spider web. I got some little spiders here. Y'all can go to the Dollar Tree and get all this stuff. Don't go spend no big money. Matter of fact, some of this stuff I was using it last year. So when you buy it one time, you good to go. Like literally use it over and over, okay? I got some little pumpkins here. Okay. I got a little honey house. <laughs> I got a little, um, you know, some skeleton um, garland. I just wanted to give it that Halloween look, okay? And that's how I'm going to take my picture. So that's the prop picture. But let's talk about the item I'm going to use after this coffee mug um, goes down. So... I'm going to put it, I'm going to use one of these clear cellophane bags. All of this is in my Amazon storefront, y'all. This is where I'm going to put the coffee mug in after I put the candy in. Now, when y'all put the candy in there, you don't have to use the expensive candy. Sneakers, Twix, that's just what I use, but I'm going to charge for it, okay? But you can use Dollar Tree candy um, because Halloween is any candy kids don't like candy you can use anything you want to put in there but i'm gonna tell y'all the trick when it comes to this candy so if y'all ship it like this make sure you add some stuff in at the bottom because <laughs> say for instance you do have the chocolate candy and you don't put nothing in here you're going to use about That's about eight pieces of candy. That's that's too expensive. So what we're going to do, we're going to stuff the bottom first. We're going to wait till it ain't done yet, but I'm just showing y'all what I would do. I would take some, um, why well, I'm having a brain fart. I would take some tissue paper. Because remember, we're just trying to make it look good. I will put it at the bottom of the coffee mug first. So that way, when you put your candy in the, it's going to look full, but they're going to have about a good three pieces. <laughs> this stuff is expensive, y'all. This candy is expensive. So look how I fill it up. <laughs> so now when I put my candy in there, it just look like it's full. But it ain't a lot of candy in there. So I probably got about two more minutes, and then it's going to be ready. So that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to do that. She said, fast. Y'all know this candy is expensive. So that's what we're going to do when the um, coffee mug get done. So we got, and then we're going to put some ribbon on it. We're going to just make it look real cute. Dress it up. And then we're going to put one of these um, ribbons on there too. Okay. Awesome. Now, I want to make a shirt, y'all. So we talked about bundling earlier. So I was trying to figure out what would go good with a coffee mug. I'm thinking a t-shirt. What y'all think? I don't know if I have any shirts in stocking at home. But this would be very dope. Like if y'all had to do like a bundle. And for those that don't know, we do sell DTL transfers. I'll go live again on DTL by itself. I don't want to miss it with sublimation. But these are the DTL transfers. She said, <laughs> so we have the, this is the coffee Freddy Cougar one, um, but we got a lot of different ones. We got the eat, drink, and be scary. We got the, ooh, thick and a treat. Who thick and a treat, baby? Ooh. Okay, girl, I see you. 
We got the witch, please. <laughs> Them fighting words right there. Witch, please. Stop playing with me, girl. Witch, please. <laughs> ah! Too, too cute to speak. So we just got different ones. But I think that would have been real cute. I wish I had some shirts I can press. I would have showed y'all what it looked like. But that would have been real cute. So a shirt bundle with a coffee mug. Um, Those are just different ideas. Now, if y'all are looking for DTL transfers, they are on my husband's website. That's what he does. I'm the submission queen. He the DTL king. Um, But he do have the... Oh, it's almost ready. He do have these DTL transfers on his website. And his website is transfersgalore.com. So I'm blank galore. He is transfersgalore.com. Now, I forgot to tell y'all. On my website as well, we are selling the submission prints. So if you say, well, hey, I don't have a printer just yet. Can I just buy the prints from you? But I got the mugs. I got the mug press. You can get this current design um, on my website. It's going to come with three of these. And this is only $5. This is not a. This is not even an 8 by 11 sheet. This, let me see. this sheet is actually bigger. Yeah, it's way, it's way bigger. It's way bigger. But I also have these submission prints, you guys. So, y'all should be able to... Um, Still do it. Now, somebody asked me a question earlier saying, well, if we can't afford... They said, well, if we can't afford the... Bring y'all over here. They was like, if we can't afford the submission equipment, like, what would you suggest for newbies? I would suggest outsourcing the prints, okay? Whether it's DTF prints, whether it's submission prints, I would highly suggest outsourcing it. So if you don't have equipment yet, or maybe you got one piece of equipment, you can still start that business, but just start small and then work your way up. All right, y'all. Let me get my weeding tool because this is very hot. Y'all make sure y'all be careful. And we're going to go ahead and weed this thing. I mean, we're going to go ahead and take this off. Ooh, this thing is hot. Y'all got to be very careful. Oh, did y'all notice? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did y'all notice anything? I did not put butcher paper around this coffee mug. Why didn't I do that? If we have any old heads on here, why I didn't put butcher paper around this paper? Before I put it in here. If you are using blank galore paper. You don't need butcher paper on top. Because it don't bleed. So if I would have been using A-Sub. No, no shade of A-Sub. I love A-Sub. But A-Sub you will be able to see the image. Um, as soon as you take it out of the um, coffee mug press. But with BG paper it do not bleed. You can't even see the image. Literally you can't see the image. But wait till you take it off. It's gonna be so beautiful. You ain't gonna be able to, you ain't gonna even know what's under here. Ooh! Ooh! Let's see if y'all know y'all characters. So who is this little fella? Is that Jason or is that Michael Myers? Who is this one? What's what's this? What's this? Oh, okay, that's Mike Myers. Okay, okay, he doing his thing. Okay, Mike Myers. Let's see who this is. Oh, who this is? Is that Fred Kugel? Oh, okay, that's Jason. Okay, I'm just playing with y'all. See if y'all know y'all folks. Okay, okay. Let's go around. Oh, who this is with his bad self? Lord, have mercy. Is that little Chucky Duck? Who that is, y'all? Little Chucky. Child, he be doing the most. Some of y'all got some little chickens now. I ain't gonna even tell you. They just bad as all that dogs. Who got some little chickens right now? <laughs> ah! She said, I got four of them, girl. What are we gonna do with them little chickens? <laughs> ah! 
All right, y'all, come on now. Let's not play with the kids. Let's not talk about the kids. She said, I show dude, not the little Chucky dudes. Okay, y'all, well, who is this one? Wait, 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 wait. So who is that one? What's his name? Y'all see him? I don't want to go all the way around. What's his name? Ghostface. I thought that was Scream. Okay, Scream. Okay, Scream. Okay. What about this one? Ooh, look at them colors, y'all. Look at that black, black. And, ooh, Lord, this is beautiful. What about this one right here? Is that the Joker? Jigsaw. That's his name. Old Jigsaw. Child, I think that was the most scariest movie for me. All these other movies, okay, but that that saw, and I think they just came out with another saw, y'all. I think they just came out with another saw. Did y'all see that? I think it's called Saw 10, because they don't have so many of them. All right, who is this next character? Ooh, y'all, these colors is coloring. It's the BG paper and ink for me. Yeah, this thing is real hot, so be careful. Be real careful. Who that is? She said, that's Freddy, babe. Okay. Look at Freddy. Okay. Let's see who else we got over here. Lord. Ooh, this thing hot. Who that is? Oh, no. Nah, I think this was the scariest one. I ain't like him. He will still be in your dreams after you watch this movie. Who this is, y'all? Pennywise, <laughs> that's it. Oh, his name was Pennywise. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pennywise off the It movie. Okay, Pennywise. <laughs> and then who we got left? Oh, I bet y'all don't know who this one is. Who is this one, y'all? Who is that last one right there? Which one is this one? I think that's Jigsaw. I mean. Oh, uh, what's his name? Pinhead. Oh, Pinhead. Okay. What movie he played on? I don't think I remember this movie. I don't think I remember that movie. What movie this was? What movie Pinhead was? I don't think I remember him. Oh, it's the old movie. Okay. Oh, Hellraiser. Right. Okay. Oh, no. They went all the way back. All right. So, y'all, it's still kind of hot. But we're going to still go ahead and stuff it, okay? Because I know I got, how much long I got? Oh, I've been on here almost an hour. I got eight more minutes, eight more minutes. All right. But make sure it cool down before y'all start stuffing it. All right. So remember I told y'all we not finna stuff it all the way with candy because that'd be too much candy. And them little checkers don't need none as it is. But we're going to give them a little bit. We ain't going to do them like that. So if you didn't use the... Uh, tissue paper, you would have had to fill it up with a lot of candy. But we're going to go ahead and stuff it with some tissue paper first. Okay. All right. And then we're going to put the candy on top. Now, like I said, y'all don't have to use chocolates. Chocolate is very expensive. This whole bag, why not? This whole bag with this little bit of candy, was $20. So, if y'all can get, like, some Dollar Tree candy, um, they gonna still eat it. Them little checkers still gonna eat it, baby. But don't, don't go, don't go buying the chocolate if you don't have to. Okay? So, that one good. We ain't gonna put too much in there. Then we're gonna take our cellophane bag. Hold on, y'all. Let me put my gloves on because this thing is hot. Okay. She said, ah, ah, that's too much candy, girl. And it is. I'm just doing it for um picture purposes. <laughs> but when I ship it, I don't even know if I ship it with the candy in there. I might ship the candy on the side just because, you know, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But I, I don't know if I would ship it with the candy yet. 
Now, if, they, if I was going to like a pop-up shop, I would have the candy in there already. But shipping, I don't really know. I don't know. All right, let me get my little screen. Okay. And I'm just going to, you know, tighten it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is looking real cute. She said how much I would charge. So I would charge. How much y'all charge for coffee mugs already? Do it, do it. This is my thing. When you charging, I'm all about getting more bang for the book, right? That's what I love to do. More bang for the book. I would say one coffee mug, one for 15, two for 25. That's how I would say it. If they if they say how much your coffee mug. I'm not going to just tell them one coffee mug because I'm trying to get more money. I'm trying to, you know, get them to buy more. Remember, we talked about bundles. So I would say that's how I would literally say it. One for 15, two for 25. I'm using a screen. I probably wouldn't even, matter of fact, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even sell uh, one coffee mug. I would say they, they two for 25. <laughs> that's what it is, two for 25. I want you to get two of them. Two for 25. Now, if I put candy in it, it's gonna have to be one for 18. This is gonna have to be $18. I think about $18 because I'm putting candy in it. That's an extra three dollars. But if you don't want the candy, you can get another option. With candy, two for 25. I mean, without candy, two for 25. With candy, um, two for We'll do, we'll do two for 30. I can do two for 30. Yeah, I can, I can do 30. I can do the little 30 piece with the candy. Now, y'all, I don't know how to tie no bow, but girl, shy. These nails in the way. See, hold on. Let me, let me get my life together. What y'all charging? She said, stand by right. Okay, so we're going to do, so that's how much the cost was, y'all. Without the candy, two for 25. Don't, don't get them the option to buy one because they'll buy one. With the candy, two for 30. But it ain't going to be chocolate. <laughs> Baby. Okay, that's cute. Now I'm going to take my little scissors. Y'all, we used to do this back at school, Barbara. Just the old school way. I'm, I'm telling y'all my age now. Oh, look at that little curl. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with your girl. Okay. And let me curl this other end, Bob. Yes. Make that thing real nice and cute. Oh, it is the twirl for me. Okay. Well, that's it, y'all. We have our Halloween candy mug. And now let's take our picture, okay? That's the main thing. We got to take our picture. A lot of y'all right now, y'all be making these items and y'all just ship it, baby. Here you go. Girl, if you don't take that picture before you ship this stuff off, because when you take that picture and you promote it, oh, baby. And I got these little props from Amazon. When you take that little picture and you promote it, all oh, them orders coming in. Yes, they is. I said, yes, they is. Ooh, come on, I spot. Okay, well, just do your thing. Just do your thing. She said, I be forgetting to take pictures. Girl, we all do. But look, after the day, don't forget no more. Don't forget no more. All right, y'all. So we're going to put our coffee mug. Because remember, we told them it's how many, how much you, how much do this cost? If I say, no, no, can I get a coffee mug, girl? That is so cute. How much your coffee mug? What y'all gonna say? What y'all gonna say? Let me see if somebody lives me. Boom, stop playing with her. Two for the 30, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Two for the 30, me, please. Don't even tell them about the one piece. I'm right, baby. Two for the 30. You can get them. Two for the 30. And it come with candy. All right. So we're gonna take our picture, y'all. Let me, hold on. So we getting these coins, baby. 
And the fact that y'all selling it before Halloween, y'all finna get these coins. Y'all selling before Halloween get here. Okay, let's go to our camera. And we're gonna take this picture. Let me back it up a little bit, honey, because I got to get everything in the camera. Come on, y'all. Put y'all up here for a second. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Let me get. Let me put. Let me put y'all somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take this picture. Hold on. I got to get that angle. Y'all got to get that angle, baby. Okay, there we go. Real nice. Ooh. Make sure y'all get them props. Now, don't overdo the props, y'all. Because it's going to take away from the actual um, custom item. So now that we got our picture, let's go ahead and edit it. I like to use when editing. I like to use Photoshop. Let me show y'all. Photoshop Express. It's free. PS Express. If you got a mobile phone, a cell phone, you can edit on the go, okay? Photoshop Express. So I'm going to click on Photoshop Express. I'm going to go to the image that I just took a picture of, and then I'm going to click on Photo Editor. All right. My chandelier in the way. Hold on, y'all. There we go. All right. So y'all see down here, here are the tools. Um, As y'all can see, what do y'all think is wrong with this picture? What do y'all think is wrong with this picture? Because a lot of y'all would post it just like this. Because y'all be so quick, fast, and in a hurry that y'all just throw it on the website. Y'all just throw it on the, on the, um, on the dang on what's name. What y'all see wrong with this picture? I can tell y'all what's wrong with it. It's too dark, right? It's not bright enough. It's not bright enough, okay? So I am going to... She said it's too far back. Ah! I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, but I, I feel like it's too dark. Because you don't want it too far back. You want to get up close so you can see, like, the props. Remember, we got the props. So you want to be able to see the spiders, the the um, the um pumpkins, the Halloween house. So you want to get a little bit up close. But it's too dark for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right here on adjustments. I'm going to go to exposure and I'm just going to slide this over a little bit to the right. Don't overdo it because if you bring it all the way over, it takes the image away. If you take it all the way to the left, it make it dark. So I'm just going to slide it over just enough to brighten it up. Okay, boom. That's it right there. I like that right there. All right. The next thing I want to do is add a little color to it. It's already colorful, but I want that thing to pop. So I'm going to scroll over down here until I get to saturation. Saturation. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. Slide it over to the right. Now, don't overdo this saturation because it's going to turn a whole different color. I'm just going to do it, you know, just to make the pumpkins a little orangey. Ooh, that's cute right there. That's it right there. Let me see. Let me do it a little bit more. Okay, there we go. That's real cute. All right. Then I'm going to scroll over a little bit more because I want to sharpen that thing. I'm going to click on sharpen and I'm going to bring that over because when you do sharpen, it makes it look 3D-ish. Ooh. And then the last thing I'm going to do is click on contrast to make my black look black. You know what I should have did? I probably should have put the cotton. I probably should have did a cotton, like, to hide the prop. Oh, why I ain't do that, y'all? I could have did it like that so they, they so they couldn't see the, um, you know, the prop, the, um, the display. I should have did it like that. 
It's cool, though. It's cool. That would have been cute. It's cool. All right. Because y'all can see right here, you can see my... Uh, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's cool, though. It's cool. It's cool. All right. So, my contrast, I turned that up. Now, we're going to save it. We're going to click on download right here at the top. It's saved. Now, let's see what it looked like. Let's see what it looked like. Oh, do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? That thing is popping, y'all. Look what we just made. Look what we just made. We made our very... Oh, this is real cute. I might sell these little bad babies. Look what we just made, y'all. Our very own Halloween coffee mugs. Nice. Y'all give me some hearts in the comments. Pink and green preferred, but if you don't see pink and green hearts, give me some red hearts in the comments. I will take those too. Can you do hearts on YouTube? I don't think you do hearts. Can you do hearts? Probably not. Okay. Oh, y'all can do hearts. Yes! Give my pink and green hearts. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. We did a great, 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 great job. All right. Y'all have any questions? I see somebody saying, um, let's come over here to my, um, let's come over here. Somebody was saying um, about the designs. So let me show y'all where to get the design from. Hold on. Let me show y'all where to get the design. Okay, can y'all see my screen? Yes. So if y'all go to blankscalore.com. B L A N K S G A L O R E dot com. That's the website. Now, when y'all go here, this is how you're going to be able to get that free design. I'm going to be on live for about five more minutes because I do want to do a giveaway. I cannot leave without a giveaway. So, I'm going to give y'all about five more minutes to download this design, okay? So, when you go to Blank School Laura, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on where it say digital product. Designs, templates, ebooks, all that good stuff. This is a design that is free. Right there, boom. Coffee mug design. It's absolutely free. It's the same design that we just used. Absolutely free. Y'all have about five minutes to go download it. It is zero dollars. When you add it to your cart, this is what's going to pop up. If anything pops up, probably not. But if y'all did get a pop-up, all it was telling you was you might as well go ahead and get this three-piece. That is the three-piece. So if you absolutely enjoyed the coffee mug design, imagine what that tumbler design is going to do and that t-shirt design. Now, this t-shirt design is on a black shirt. But we finna add it to my husband DTL um, website. So you can get it in a DTL. You can get it and use it for sublimation. But if you want to do it as a DTL print, meaning you want us to make the print for you, we can ship it to you. Um, you can put it on any color shirts. Then this is the website to go to for DTLs. It's not on this website. His website is Transfers Galore. So it's like Blanks Galore, but you put Transfers in the front. Now, when you go to his website, um, he don't even launch to like August the 11th, but we adding designs on there now. So when you go to his website, you will click on Halloween DTL Transfers. Those are the ones he have on there just for now. But we are adding more as we go, okay? So either way, you can get that design uh, printed on sublimation. Or you can get it on the... Um, you can get it um, as a DTL. As a DTL. She said, I can't get to the design page. Did you go to the website? 
Yes, Tajanae, best of both worlds. It's the details and so much for me. No, no, like no excuse, y'all. Let's get these Halloween coins. Um, but do y'all have any questions? I've seen a few questions. If y'all don't, let's go ahead and get into this trivia. She said, I got mine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. If y'all don't get this free design now, by the time we get off live, it's going to be worth a couple of coins. So I hope y'all was able to download it. I hope y'all was able to get the other designs. But other than that, let's get into this trivia. I got to go eat. Don't forget, we do have so much transfers as well. She said, does DTF only go on fabric? It can go on fabric. You can put it on cardboard. I've seen people put it on wood. So it, it really just depends. But you can really put it on different things. But it's made mostly for fabric. Yes, it is. That's why I really love sublimation. Because you can do versatile. It's variety. But DTL, it goes on color. So I, I really like them both. Look at my pen. DTF goes on color. She said, do you recommend a certain brand heat press? I love Fancier Studio. Um, I, I'm trying to reach out to Heat Transfer Warehouse and Heat Press Nation to see uh, what kind of deals my students can get if we go through them. But for right now, if I'm working on a budget, I love um, Fancier Studio. It's on Amazon. You're going to pay a little bit under $200. So Fancier Studio... I absolutely love it. I've had it for years. Same heat press. The heat press I bought in 2017 is the heat press I'm still using in my building. Now, of course, y'all see these other heat presses. Um, They're just there for decoration. But <laughs> my favorite heat press is Fancier Studio, okay? She said, when well, using blank or paper, what side do you print on? So you print on the rough side. The good part about it is um, the next batch that come in for Christmas, it will be able to be distinguished. The next batch, they are printing blank school on the back. So thank God for growth. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to work with what you got to get what you want because we've been using plastic bags for the longest and now we have boxes. And then our paper don't have a backing on it, but now it's going to have a backing. So, thank y'all for y'all patience, all of our loyal followers, because y'all still buy our products, <laughs> even though it can be a headache. So, I rock with y'all for that. So, this is how Black Square paper looks. I know it don't have a backing yet. It's coming. But you can feel the texture. Um, You got a rough side, and then you have a smooth side. You want to make sure you are printing on the rough side. But you can you can literally feel the difference. Okay, so make sure you print on the rough side. All right, y'all, I got to go. I got to go eat. Um, so let's get into this trivia. Now, the winner um, what I want to give away today? What kind of mood am I in? What kind of mood am I in? Let's do a... I want to do... I want to do... I want to do some um transfers. So I want to give away... Let me just tell y'all something. If we give away transfers... That's worth way more than heat presses and printers because if you can sell these bad babies and get your money's worth, this one transfer, when you put it on the shirts, it sells for $30. So if you selling trans, if you selling shirts with a transfer on there for less than $30, you're sleeping on yourself. But these transfers per shirts, $30 minimum. $30 minimum. $30 minimum. So we're going to give y'all a 10-piece bundle, whoever wins. We're going to do a $150, I mean, not $150. <laughs> we're 
we're gonna do a 10 piece bundle of transfers uh i might come back live next week and show y'all how to press them it's very easy but we're gonna do a 10 piece bundle um of dtf transfers so y'all can get y'all money back how much money that'll be with 10 transfers and y'all sell 10 shirts how much money is that somebody give me an answer Somebody give me the answer. How much money is that? $300. $300. Oh, Lord. Somebody about to get $300 worth of value. So, y'all, forget all them other machines and stuff. Let me, let me help y'all make some money. All right. So, y'all ready? Say you ready if you got your notes. This is going to be very easy. The first person I see, that's who's going to win. So I don't want no problems out of y'all. What do we say when people win? Do anybody know the answer? So we don't have no ruckus starting. What do we say when people win? Do we say, uh-uh, oh, coach, I said it first. What do we say, y'all? Congratulations. I like that. All right, now. Okay, well, let's get it since y'all know what's up. Let's get it. Okay, so we talked about the supplies you need when you're doing sublimation. We talked about the startup cost. We talked about everything. But my question for you guys, my question for you guys is, if you are sublimating a coffee mug, what was the dimensions that we use? <laughs> what was the dimensions that we use? Veronica Chandler, got her. Y'all thought I was going to ask y'all what was the time and temp. I've seen a lot of y'all talk about 392 for six minutes. No, that's why I had to rephrase it. Veronica Chandler, congratulations. You have won a 10 piece of Halloween DTO transfers. So you can get your money's worth. Ooh, I gotta get you a bundle again. Let me get you a bundle together, Veronica. Veronica Chandler, congratulations. Um, make sure you inbox. I mean, not inbox. Make sure you um email my support team. Support at blessedlore.com. That's the name of the email. Support at blessedlore.com. Did y'all learn anything today? That's my main thing I want to make sure. Did y'all learn anything today? Anything. If you got if you want if you if you got something that you can take away, put yes in the comments. Okay, good, 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 good. So my next time I'm gonna come back on here is gonna be Friday, same time. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-record this whole class, and I'm gonna upload it to my YouTube so you guys can watch it without any interruptions. Okay. So if y'all have any questions. Come back and watch the replay. I should be uploading in about two hours. I'm going to go ahead and record it. I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to put How to Sub Made a Coffee Mug on YouTube. Um, discretion free. So y'all can come back and watch the replay. Is everybody subscribed? Ooh, excuse me. I just want to make sure. Did everybody subscribe to my YouTube? She said, still say this. Y'all, I'm going to say it is. But I want y'all to be able to go watch this class and do his thing. Okay. Now, I normally say what I'm going to do and do what I'm going to say. But y'all tell me this last thing. Do y'all want me to keep that design up about a couple more hours for the free ski? What y'all think? I will work a little deal with y'all. But do y'all want me to keep that free design up for the people that couldn't get in? <laughs> okay, uh, she said about 20 more minutes. Okay, not an hour. Give them 20. Okay, okay. Well, I, you know, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to leave that free design up. Y'all go get y'all design. Make y'all coffee mugs. And if y'all are not in my free Facebook group, please join Blank Scalora, um Academy with Cassandra Smith. And upload your homework over there. So if you have done a coffee mug, if you haven't, I want y'all to go ahead and make one and go upload it to Blank Galore Academy Sublimation. All right, guys. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.